Hey there viewers, welcome back to Ed the Impala Guy channel. Uh, we did a little uh, shopping today at the uh, U-Pull uh, junkyard and picked up a few things. Uh, one of the major coups of the day was we had a replacement aluminum uh, wheel and tire for uh, the, the silver car, the 2007. And more importantly, I picked up a drive shaft, a CV axle for the uh, driver's side. Um, that was the last thing that I was needing to get this thing set back down on its uh, own suspension and move under its own power. So that's going to be the goal for today. We're going to get the uh, drive shafts installed. We're going to put the uh, knuckles back on, the bearing hubs back in, the drive shafts in, uh, hook it all back up, set it down on, the, on its own tires, and it should drive. Um, so let's get going. We're going to start here on the passenger side. This one already has the uh, lower control arm with the ball joint already installed. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, pop the drive shaft in, um, put the steering knuckle on, um, put the bearing hub in, hook up the um, sway bar, and then put the, the brakes and everything back on it. And this side should be good. We're going to do this. We also need to uh, rewire the ABS over here because I stole the, the wiring for my wife's car. So, all right, I'm gonna put you on time-lapse, so uh, hang on. Okay, folks, here's what we got. See, we uh, got the drive shaft in and the tie rod and the brakes and all the good stuff, the hub. Now we're gonna put the tire on and uh, this side will be done. We'll move over to the other side. This is the first time this has had a tire on it since mid-January. Alright, good enough for now. Let's move on over to the other side. One thing, uh, if you did notice about the other side, I did not put the... Um, the sway bar links in. First of all, um, this isn't going to be driven on the road. Um, this is just to kind of get it around the yard. So uh, what's going to happen is if I do get the frame pulled out to where I can get a door on it, where I can put this thing back on the road, I'm going to tear this front end apart again and I'm going to replace it with all new parts, including a new sway bar, a new steering rack, uh, new lower control arms, the, the whole bit. So, um, I'm not going to get too uptight about getting everything put back together 
just uh, just so. Um, in the meantime, though, I, I just want to get it down and drivable. Um, I can always pull it in the garage and put the sway bar links on it. It's much easier to do it there, um, where you've got a firm surface and jacks to, to make it all uh, easy. Uh, the one thing, though, is that this sway bar is broke. Um, like 99% of the, uh, the hollow um, GM sway bars, uh, they break right at the end. So that's what um, that's where we're at right now we're gonna put the ball joint on this side and uh, basically uh, repeat the other side we'll put a drive shaft in it and get everything hooked back up and uh, then we're gonna set her down on the ground so you're going back to time-lapse Well, viewers, it's down on its feet for the first time since December 17th, 2018. This is sitting on all four tires and technically is movable. Um, we do have a little bit of a dead battery issue, but um, we're going to see. I'm going to jump started here with the Super Suburban and um, See if we can get it started and make sure that this thing is actually ready to move. So hang in there. I'll uh, definitely record the uh, the first movement here. There it is. Driving under its own power. There we have it. It's finally back home under its own power. There you go. What'd you think? What? What'd you think? Uh, it needs a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, it does. It's very rough, but you know what? It moves under its own power and... Hi, small puppy. Hi, puppy. Oh, hello. Anyhow, I'm gonna take it for a hello. drive. All right, folks, here we are. We're on the test driving crash. Um, there's like every light in the world lit up on the dash. Um, there's nothing in the uh, ABS is hooked up. There's all kinds of things wrong. But uh, we'll get that fixed. You can see the, the steering wheels. Not even really close. So anyhow, here we are, no door. Wow. No seatbelt. Ah. All right. Back at you in a little bit. Wow. Yeah, what a momentous occasion. Um, here it is. It is running, driving. I'll bet not very well. Um, lots of creaking, lots of groaning, lots of scraping. Uh, I, I can. Definitely, if we ever get this back straight where I get a door on it and we can drive it on the road, several things are going to happen. It's going to get new brakes, new suspension, new drive shafts, 
um, basically everything up front. We'll probably drop the oil pan, fix the oil pan leak, you know, do all that kind of stuff. Um, and we may even like do all the body work and paint it. I don't know. But for right now, it's not there anymore. And that's important. It's gonna go in there. And it's been a long time coming. Like I said, December 17th was the accident. It got home a couple days later and it, there it has sat since. I've robbed parts off of it for the black car. I've robbed um, Peter to pay Paul, so to speak. And now I'm gonna have to put this thing back together. But the first thing is this corner here, we're gonna try and move it that way, about a quarter of an inch. And um, if we can get that accomplished, we can probably put a door back on it. Um, and like I said, this is for nobody, nobody but me. Nobody else is ever going to drive this car on the road except me. So uh, don't don't lecture me about you know crumple zones and fatigue mental and all that stuff. Uh, if I can get the door to fit and seal, I'll be really happy, and um, I'll be the only one driving it. I'm never going to sell it. It will go from me to the scrapyard. Um, we'll see. And if I can't get it straightened out, it will go to the scrapyard. Anyhow. Thanks for tuning in uh, to this episode. Uh, we'll we'll uh, continue to update you uh, as we go along with the car here. Um, like I said, the next step is I'm going to try and uh, tie it to one of these trees here. And um, we're going to hook on to the lower portion of that with the come along and try and pull it out. If the come along doesn't work, I may uh, go to the Harbor Freight and get one of their um, Porta Power tools and uh, try pushing it from the inside um, out. Anyhow, thanks for uh, tuning in. Uh, click the subscribe button. I'm up to 43 subscribers. I never uh, thought I'd see that many. So uh, I'm, I'm hoping to make 50 someday. So go ahead and click the subscribe and uh, click the notification bell. Uh, leave a comment. Click the like button. Click the dislike button, whatever you need to do. Anyhow, thanks for coming along. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.